Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of Blasted Oasis. So it is day 55 and I've been working on the house a fair bit last night. I finally got this part knocked out. Some of the walls up here upgraded. Uh, we got a lot of floors upgraded. I got the, the concrete all along the, the uh, base here uh, upgraded to reinforce just in case demos or something go off out there. Uh, and I'm working on getting this section done here. Got to figure out what we're going to do with our greenhouse, how we're going to add our drawbridge in here. And I got a bit of steel work done last night. I am hungry. Let's go downstairs. I got all the floor here upgraded to concrete. Now it doesn't necessarily need to be concrete down here, but I made it concrete just because um, it looks nicer. And if I don't feel like painting it right away, it looks better than the cobble. So let's, uh, what am I looking for here? Oh yeah, food. Um, let's go ahead and grab another one of these guys. Got lots of food, so I'm not worried. Took my uh, the rest of my mushrooms off last night off the walls. Let's go ahead and put them down here. Take these guys out, and they can go into oops into here. Uh, yeah. So we do have uh, faucets for the sink. I think we do we have. Did I actually get faucets for the sink? That's a good question. Got another 15 blocks we can upgrade out here. Now I didn't have a lot of steel, so I wasn't able to upgrade a lot, but I did get this kind of bottom level around here upgraded and a little bit of this done here last night. We had a few zombies show up. Uh, they did a little bit of damage to the outside, but not a big deal. Go ahead and get these upgraded. And then we'll just go along here, as far as we can go. Should be pretty close to getting most of this done, I think. Yeah. So what we want to do though is go ahead and get like this level all around here done at the top and on the sides here. And I think that should be pretty good. Like they did, the zombies did a bit of damage, but not much. Um, and I replaced this block here, so hopefully it dries properly this time. I did put a, just a regular um, wet concrete pillar in there. So I'm hoping that makes a difference, but we'll see if it dries or not. It's been a while and it hasn't dried yet, but I've been down this end of the base doing stuff, so uh, it may not dry right away. I'm gonna get this upgraded here a little bit. This is the just in case they break in and we're upstairs and whatever. At least we have some support. That's all this is really for. So they decide to bang on stuff down here. At least it's uh, upgraded to the point where we don't have to worry about it falling in right away. Okay, so that being said, let's get up here. Now we gained a level last night, so we've got one point to spend. Now I could put it into perception. I think that's probably what I'm going to do. Because it'll increase our explosive damage on the uh, Horde Knight uh, without having to wear those glasses. We can keep our XP goggles on, which is what I want to do. Um, so we'll have, what, um, extra 30% damage on the pipe bombs, which is awesome. And then whatever we get from this, which is another, uh, this is head headshot damage only, but an additional 25% chance to dismember. Okay, so let's go over to the workbench. I want to sp spend some time around home today. I am worried about nitrate powder, but I am and I'm not. Okay, so we want to do... Okay, hoist. Um, I think it's called a hoist. No. Um, maybe it's a workbench. Yeah, auto workbench. Claw hammer, ratchet set, compressor tool, and the car lift is these guys again, I think. I don't think we have ratchet sets, though. Car lift. Compressor tool. We can do this using some of our steel, but that's fine. Keep the steel going. We're going to need it. Um, got a bit of forged iron, electrical mechanical parts, and a compressor. Where do I put the compressors? Oh, we got three of them. We only need two. Okay, so lift. Uh, oops. Um, yeah. We can make the lift. Let's craft that. And then we need the car workbench. Working house faucet. We need a house faucet. Short iron pipe mechanical parts. Do we have any more faucets in here? I wonder if the brass ones will work. Oh, well, what do you know? Let's get two of those going. That's cool. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, auto workbench. We need ratchet set and a workbench. Workbench is easy to put together. I don't think we have ratchet sets though. No, not yet. Damn. Um, take the U out of there. Let's pull the engines out of there too. Let's pull the lights out of there. Let's put them all in here. Okay, well, at least we'll have some of the stuff we need. We're making a cars and shiz. Put those in there. A little bit of extra iron can go in there. 39. Oops. We need forged iron too. Let's make another forge. Um, do that. We need clay and leather. Lots of clay. Lots of leather. Forge. What are we missing? Stone. Because of course we are. There we go. Get a forge on the run. Craft. How much is it for the crucible? Forge iron, which we don't have. Alright, there's our car lift. And two working faucets. I'm interested to see. Uh, we we'll leave the lift in there for now. And you can go here. Let's take these downstairs. Uh, put you away, put you away. Nope. Um, you and you. Okay. I'm interested to see. I think we probably just need empty jars. We'll put this here. That there. It's always better having a double sink, you know? Um, okay, our jars are in here. Where are you? Here we go. So, how do we... Oh my god. <laughs> That's so awesome. Okay. We got water for years now. That is so great. That's a, what a great idea. Uh, we want to take these out of here. We're going to put them in here. And this sink is going to be for paint and stuff. So let's go get the paint. Mm, I may have to move those mushroom spores. Because running around there like that and hearing that, that sound of them rustling is not good for me. Uh, okay, we got some more of that running. Come on, focus on what you're doing here. Uh, like 800 mix. We'll take you. Get the rest in here. Let's open this. And that can go into there. Let me just pull it out of there. Let's put them in here. Okay, what was I doing? I was doing something. Uh, paint. Right, in the paintbrush. Take all those. Um, these I was going to melt, which I'll probably still do. Um, paintbrush. Where's our paintbrush? Here's the paint. And the paintbrush. Here we go. Okay, and let's just go ahead and scrap a bunch of these guys. Oh, let's just scrap them all. Actually, I'll save one for this guy. So I know this is the one that we want to keep. And we can go ahead and scrap this one too. Because we've been finding nail guns and I've been trying to remember if we needed them or not. Okay, that can go in there. Um, okay. 57 forged steel. Let's get out here again. Get as much of this done as we can. And then a couple of these guys. I'll do that corner and that corner because they seem to be coming like around the back and right into these corners. So I think probably that's probably the best place to put those. How much concrete do we have left? Not that much. I was hoping to upgrade all this to reinforce just to get the XP, but I probably should do this floor. Just so that it's... Because if we have to fall back here... And cops or demos go off outside. I want to make sure that this is actually protected. I think we can get between here. Is it cobble still? Come on. It is. That's still cobble, eh? Okay. Can we get into the corner there? That's repair work. 
that's repair worker. So that is concrete on the outside. All right, well, I haven't repaired all the outside either, which I probably should go ahead and do. Uh, hordes tomorrow, though, so I think we're okay for today. Now, uh, let's get our paintbrush. Get some paint. I'm going to go ahead and sample that texture. Work on the kitchen. I think we can sample that as well. Yep. Excellent. And that. Looking better already. All right. And then we need to do the side. Wood side. Okay. And now, uh, what are we going to do for the walls? i got to decide what we're going to do for the walls. We can put tile on the floor in the kitchen. So this wall is done. We don't, I mean, we don't have a lot of color and stuff. That's the problem, right? Lines. Um, I don't know. This place is going to be an industrial nightmare. Uh, once again, having a hard time deciding on color. Adobe 10. What does that look like? Not that great. Uh, what about cheesy ass wallpaper? Wow. Uh, maybe not. I'm terrible at uh, designing, but I'm not that bad. I don't think you want wallpaper in a kitchen anyway. Probably not that either. Uh, nothing else down here. Drywall cream, isn't there? Don't we, isn't there like an is an Adobe white? Yeah, I don't think so. <sighs> There's not really a lot here. Well, maybe if I was a designer, I'd be like, oh yeah, there's lots here. You can do stuff with it. But I'm I'm not a designer, so there's not really a lot here. You can put carpet on the walls. How about we do that? Metal white, red. Con okay, we've got regular green concrete. I don't know. I think I'd rather stick with blue. I mean, it's not the best color, but let's do this. Let's go around the pillars here. I'll do the whole pillar that way. So on both sides. So it'll just be this big blue blob. Because I'm a designer and I know what I'm doing. Give me motion graphics, no problem. But like, designing houses and stuff, forget it. I'm so utilitarian. Um, okay. So, kitchen walls. Um, we could just go like... You know, maybe along here. I think this is a metal plate. Let's take this out. Yeah. Okay. We could just go along here because we know the wall is brick on the outside. Like it's this brick, right? Like that. And then here, this is the the trim that's on the outside. So we match it on the inside. Okay. Then these two would be brick and then that would be trim. It looks like garbage. But if we go one brick, right? And then we do the painting. So at the back of the kitchen, we could go with tile. Oh, that looks like a crappy tile. I thought there was like a, a narrower tile. Like, Yeah, no, we don't want to do that either. Uh, I thought there was a... Th is it this one? No. I thought there was like another tile that was better. I 
Like, that doesn't work for me. Can you imagine white walls in the kitchen? Uh... I don't know. Like, if we go... this route... Maybe. It's not so bad. Like, not horrifically bad, that is. We'll take it from... here. Maybe this becomes something different. Yeah, see what I mean? Having these here is just a bad idea. I wonder if we can... Um, take these guys. And then put them... That should stop us from making noise. Perfect. That's horrible. It's too dark. You want your kitchen to be bright, don't you? Honestly, I just want my kitchen to have food in it. That's all I want. <laughs> Remember, I'm utilitarian. We might as well have a dirty ass floor too in the kitchen, because that'll work. <laughs> I'm so bad at design. Uh, can I get this floor? Uh, you're not gonna let me get that floor, are you? Come on, let me get that floor. I know some of the blocks you can just sneak. You're not going to let me do it. All right, well, that's fine. Screw you too. Okay, we'll do the floor of this tile. And I think we'll run this all the way up to the stairs. Going down. I have to go ahead and change those. Well, not change them, but update them to reinforced. I'm not going to do that right now. Because we don't really have the... Um, Forged iron. Now, uh... Not tan. Not white. Like, I don't know. The blue's even too dark. Like, maybe we just do... And please, feel free to drop some stuff in the comments, because I have no clue. Uh... Like, I thought these guys were smaller, but I guess they're not. Like, we could do... Like, tile backdrops against the back of the, like, splash tile. But I wish they were smaller. I wish these tiles were, like, a lot smaller. I don't know, it's just so weird. Um, you know what it might be, too, is it might be that we don't have cupboards in yet, either. So if we have... How many boxes do we have upstairs? Because if we add, a le like, a level of cupboard in there, it might make a huge difference. I'm pretty sure I got a bunch. Yeah, I got 16. Perfect. Um, so, shape. Standard cupboards. I don't think we're ever going to use these. So, I mean, I could just make them half blocks and then paint them. But I want to, like... Oops. Uh, I wish I could pick these up. They should have that, like, half-second chance to pick them up again. That and that. Do I want to have it over the window, though? Like that. And then maybe we add, like... You know what? Let's try... Uh, grabbing one of these guys, not this guy, this guy, going advanced. Right, and then that. Like it's like something you can hang stuff down off of. 
So if you had like whatever, like spoons and whatever, you could do that. Now go ahead and turn this back to this. Get that out of there. Put you back down here and then we go shape. Now in the kitchen, what do we want to have? We want to have a big pile of food in the corner. Like that. Like we have a well-stocked kitchen. Um, the weird thing is too, is you can put them up here. But that's that's a little big because it looks like the food's overhanging. So what about this guy? That works in the corner, but not. Yeah, that'll. It overhangs, unfortunately. Okay, that's not too bad. Let's put these in here for now. Let's go ahead and paint this stuff. Uh, I don't want to go peach. But I want to go. I don't want to think. I want to go. Wet. I want to go a piece of metal here, like metal cabinet maybe. Hmm. Don't know about that. Do we have any other beer cooler side? Uh, oh, it's painted the whole thing too. Okay. I mean, I don't know. Maybe not that color. That's not going to work either, I don't think. Oh, yeah, that actually looks not bad. It kind of gives it a little bit of accent, you know? Okay. That's kind of working for me. Now, uh... What else? What other shapes do we have here that we could use in the kitchen? Uh, water cooler. We could put a water cooler in there. Hey, everybody. So, yeah, the recording messed up. Um, once again, I, I thought I had tons of drive space and I ended up with a lot less drive space than I thought I had. I I thought I had deleted my uh, old Rogue Tech, the ones that upload, uh, episodes that I had uploaded, but I had not gone in and removed all the raw files. So we lost half of yesterday's episode. Uh, so I'm amalgamating that one with this one today. Today is Horde Day. Um, so I spent last night down here in the mine trying to get as much iron as I could. I, I kind of gave up looking for uh, um, nitrate powder right away. Uh, I'm going to start worrying about that after Horde Night. We've got enough gunpowder to, to last through Horde Night. So I just wanted to get a bunch of iron to get a bunch of steel moving because we're definitely going to need that moving forward. we got to cover that whole base with steel. So that's going to be the goal moving forward after today. Um, so today we got a 24 zombie horde. Um, our 24 zombies per wave horde um, or 24 zombies alive whatever you want to call it uh, so they're going to be coming in uh, tonight um, and I picked up what one two three four st four stacks and a bit of iron last night which is good so we're going to get that right in the forge once four jazz once we get upstairs got a few zombies upstairs I had to kind of go up a couple times last night it was a wandering horde and stuff and I'll show you what we did in the last half of the last episode now we didn't do a whole lot. I did a lot, a little bit more work to the house. Uh, so I'll be able to show you that. Uh, just give me a second here. All right, I think we can probably go back up now if I can get out of here. Uh, yeah, up this way. So um, first things first, things first. we're gonna go out. We're gonna do some repairs on the base. Um, I think there's a couple of minor things that need to be touched up. So we'll touch all those up, make sure the base is ready to go. Uh, of course, making sure we have all the steel going. And then um, I'll take you for a tour around the base. Not a lot has changed. I mean, we got a fireplace now and stuff. And we got more zombies out back. We're crying out loud. I had a whole wandering horde last night. It sounds like another whole wandering horde. Oh, come on, you guys. Can't you wait till tonight? Come back tonight. We got lots going on tonight. Come on, buddy. You can do it. 
I can't get my stamina back fast enough to attack you. There we go, do it this way. Oh, for cr I thought I had enough, but I didn't. Well, you're little... That was wrong! Well, at least we'll heal healed for the next, like, I don't know, two days. How much damage did you guys do? Where's all my concrete? I got it upstairs, I guess. Not a whole lot. Oh, they did a lot here. This block they seem to like, and I have no idea why. I think I'm going to put a plate on the inside. At that block. That's where the stairs are. So they might be seeing that stairs is a way to get to me, and using that block, like trying to break that block is a way to get to me. Alright, so we'll take these out. Put these guys in. And that's going to be... Uh... 20, 40, 80. No, 60. 64, good enough. Put that in there. And how much do you got in here? Not bad. Put both of these in there. Oh, okay. Just get that in there for now. Okay, let's get our materials. Get out front. Now, do we have more? We don't got a lot of cement uh, to make here. Um, sand. Take you out. Start you going. Get that mixing. I don't think I've been making... Oh yeah, I have. I wasn't sure if I'd been making a lot of... Uh, like still melting stone in. Let's get... that. Get some, some more cement out of there. Alright. You can go in there. You can go in there. Let's bring out the concrete. Um... We don't have any steel left over. I made a bunch of iron last night too. Oh, that can go in there. I think that's it for that. And then let's put you guys in there. Now how much... Oh yeah, I took the forged iron out last night because I did. Go ahead and make a drawbridge. So we do have a drawbridge now. Put that in here for now. So we can put that in after tonight. We'll worry about it after tonight. Uh, let's bring some of this down in case we need it. And we've got 24 steel in there. Anything else over here? We've got a, No, we don't have any steel in here either. Yeah, man, we're really bottlenecked on steel. Like, really bottlenecked. I'm hoping I can... Well, I'll get what I can get done today. Not that worried about it. I'm going to go around first. Let's have a look at the, actually, back wall. Back wall. So I think they only, they only attack back here when I'm, like, down in the mines. Mostly. Not always. But mostly. Okay. And it's just right here, because this is where the stairwell is, right? So they kind of come after the, the easiest way to get to the stairwell. So I may have to put some plates on the inside, I don't know. Alright, let me go around the outside here. I think... Probably most of this is fine. Like, yeah, like a lot of this is just one point. But I want to make sure these corners are full. Okay, looking pretty good out here. A little bit of damage to some of these blocks, but these are the guys that come around at night and bang on stuff. I think we're probably fine here. Uh, I don't want to upgrade anything right away. That's that. Okay, let's get on the other side. Yeah, it looks like this block's not going to dry again. I, I don't know. I mean, I'm not that worried about it. It's not one of those crucial bro blocks that if it doesn't dry, the whole base is going to come down or something. But, um... Be nice if it was dry. Okay, so I think that's... Pretty much it. A little bit more repairs on these guys up here. Ooh, that one took a lot of damage. Out of steel, eh? Alright, let's go back and get some more. Yeah, I think a 64 zombie horde is going to rip through this base. I don't think we're going to have much of a chance. I think they're really going to do a number on this place. We're really going to need to up the uh, power situation out front. So we're going to have to go... like. Definitely, we're not going to like be able to run with just two wires. It'll have to be probably four. But we'll know after tonight. Tonight's the 24, 
24 horde tonight. Um, so we'll know, we'll get a good sense anyway of how much we're going to need to do. All right, so I've got 15 left. What can we get here? Mm, not a whole lot. All right, so what are we looking at today? Uh, game stage 141. So most likely we are not going to get demolishers tonight. I mean, if some kind of miracle happens and we blow the crap out of like a, a crap ton of zombies uh, early on, then we might get some like later in the horde night, but it's unlikely. Uh, let's leave that guy alone. We got other stuff to do. Other fish to fry. All right. Um, now, a little bit more steel. Slowly getting there. Um, I was going to do something. What was it? Think about the base, think about the base. What do we need for tonight? What do we need? What do we got? Uh, oh yeah, we wanted to upgrade these guys. Okay, we got a bit more to go here. We could probably get the rest of these done before end of day today, and I don't know what the hell's going on with this thing. I'll leave it, and then after tonight's Horde Night, I'll probably take it out again and try again. It's so weird that some of the blocks just don't dry. I don't know. I don't know what to say about that. Okay, um... Oh yeah, pipe bombs. We've got 79 pipe bombs, so let's make a bunch more. we got a ton of gunpowder. Pipe bombs, grass, or sorry, uh, pipes and grass. Pipe bombs, how many can we make? All of them. Beautiful. Make it all. Make it all. Still got over a thousand gunpowder left. We may be okay without the, uh, without finding nitrate powder. If we did find nitrate powder, it would be a different story. We'd be like rocking and rolling here. Um, AP ammo. Got a little bit here and a little bit here. I don't think we're going to need it tonight. Like I said, it'll be a real big fluke if we do get demolishers. But I will definitely need it for the next horde night. I definitely will need it for the next horde night. And tonight we got to make sure they hit those... hit the uh, building as little as possible so we're gonna have to blow up blow them up as fast as possible I think no monkeying around with the uh, shotgun for too long as soon as they build up just drop a pipe bomb on them okay so we got another what um, 18 not a lot I wish I could just leave and have that be all automated but I can't unfortunately all right looking okay there Oh yeah, so, I mean, we, we did work on the kitchen a little bit yesterday. You guys did see kind of part of, part of what I did. We've got these laid out. We moved the workbench over so we could put in a uh, little bit of a fireplace here. It looks okay. The more I look at it, the more I'm okay with it. I had a lot of hard time figuring out how it was going to work. Man, if I'm if I'm hitting like that tonight, it's going to be a problem. Let's get rid of this guy and this guy. Exchange of blows, but you're dead and I'm not. Okay, well, I mean, I think we're okay for tonight. This is where they're basically going to be focusing on. So, not that that worried about it. Man, we still got a lot of work to do in this place. Got like 14 episodes left left after this one, so I want to make sure we get at least finish this place off and having it look nice so when the Day 64 Horde does come and completely obliterates it, at least we can say we did a good job building the base, if that makes any sense. A little bit more of that going. Let's get this out here. You and you. All right, that's good. Drop a little bit of that in there. We don't need it all on us. We might need that. Alright, what do we got going in here? A little bit more. I should move the anvil over to this guy. From here. Wait, don't we have an extra one? Or did I sell them all? Yeah, we do. Man, that was dumb. I'll just pump him out a little faster. Okay, another four blocks.
yeah we should have this done and then we'll have double steel everywhere and then we'll do these blocks here now I should probably check I th I'm pretty sure all of these are repaired I think I repaired those at the last horde night yeah those are good uh, so if we do put more in we should have them down one level and that way they're running along the legs here that way the Arlene's I think it's Arlene whoever it is the one zombie that's able to run just like underneath them or dogs will definitely get hit by them as they're trying to go by and then I think we have to try and lay maybe we can get we got some time now let's get uh, the rebar frame and all our concrete um, so rebar frames concrete and we're gonna go down and we're gonna just kind of like start filling the rest of this in where we want it to be reinforced concrete Then I'm going to starve because I haven't eaten yet. So I'm going to go back in and eat. Okay, so I'm only going to go out a couple, I think, away from the base here. Just enough so if the demos do blow up kind of close to our base, they're not going to blow up the stone and then create a crater that these zombies actually can't still get to us. This should at least give them the ability to still kind of get to us. If they blow up then you know this block should probably still be relatively intact but at least it won't destroy below where like this stone would just go all go away and then it, they would have no way to get to me so they'll start tunneling underneath the base okay so that gets the outside of this part done looks like you're a little bit damaged yeah they come around this corner and attack so sometimes they bang on this stuff wow uh, really okay all right all right now i'm going to go around this part of the base too just one out all right so that's got the framing done i just got to finish up the last little bit as soon as we kill this zombo we'll just finish this up here real quick so that's this part done i'm going to make this i'm going to pave this and make it look like a uh, uh sidewalk around here go around the building now let's get some of this knocked in and that's that okay so that's not bad these should all dry with no time excellent all the way around looking pretty good that'll dry we got a couple more blocks here that could use a couple points of repair but not a big deal not worried about it they, these things should survive no problem okay now uh what do we need to do now I know I'm forgetting something. What am I forgetting? Got all that done. Uh, all right. Let's drop you in there. You in there. Um, we got 6,000 iron on us still. Oh, uh, how much we got out of here? Keep this going. There are 82 more. Beautiful. We're going to need some for repairs most likely tonight. I don't know how often we're going to need to repair, but... Come on. Just one. Alright, let's look into... I know one of the skills allows me to make forged steel cheaper and faster. I think it's here though, right? Yeah. So we need to go up... We need two points to go up this level. Right? We do. So is there anything that we're going to benefit from immediately tonight? I don't think so. Um... Perception? No, we, wait, we got, we're working on SMG, got Gunslinger is already this high. Run and gun maybe, Floria blows. Parkour, hidden strike from the shadows. I don't think. Go up another level in light armor. Increase durability, reduce movement penalty. Stamina penalty. Let's, I'm going to, I'm going to put it in there. Oh yeah, can you see how much faster I'm moving? Isn't that great? Uh, what was they saying? Oh yeah, we gotta put this stuff away. So we don't need the rebar on us for tonight. Ooh, we almost ran out of concrete. Got a ton for repairs just in case. Um, so we're good with that. Stone is melting down in here, so let's get some more 
cement going as much as we can. Steel. Steel. Let's go down and get another eight blocks updated. Okay, now it's going to be along here. Oh, perfect. Now, anything we get is bonus. We're going to reinforce these on the inside first in case they break. Well, yeah, they're not going to get in, though. Like, even if they break these, they won't get in. Although, I should probably up like upgrade these guys here. So, if, if a demo does go off, it doesn't blow through and destroy these guys. If, the, if we lose our electrical fences, it's game over. How's our fuel doing? Oh, we got tons. We got tons! Mechanical electrical parts, we don't really have to worry about it. It's running at full capacity any, pretty much anyway. Um, let's get these updated. Won't matter. Oh, I know what I wanted to have a look at. And I've been thinking about, every time I think about the horde base, I've been thinking about what we got to do with the SMG because it's still... Oh, I got to turn the power on. Damn it. It's still trying to shoot zombies that are coming at us from the direction it sees, right? So, turn this on. Okay, so it's still, like, I think it's still trying to shoot through there. Um. So let's do it this way. Oh, we need ammo too. We need ammo! We used almost two stacks of ammo on that thing, eh? Uh, here. Oh, and I gotta double check our AKs as well. Because we got that level 6 AK that I haven't checked yet. We're gonna switch over the shotgun tonight. Unlock. Lock. So it's ready to go for tonight. Now, was there... Did I see a damaged block here somewhere? That's damaged, I don't really care. Where is it? Right over right here. Yeah, I mean, not worried about the zombies. They're not going to, or the birds. They're not going to get through here. This turret should take care of them. You know, worst case scenario, if they do, like, we can put plates all the way around here too, so I'm not worried about that. And these, nothing's really seriously damaged, right? Nah. Yeah, we're good, I think. We're good, I think. All right. The other thing too is we could just cover it in wood to start with. Save a little bit. Okay, so let's get organized now. What do we need for tonight? What don't we need? Okay, we're not going to need you guys. Um, so let's just put them in here. Those guys can stay. That, I'm going downstairs anyway, so we'll take that down. Put this in there. Um, how are we doing for uh, iron? And then just do that and the same thing here do that keep the steel coming and then here I think we're gonna go forged iron on this one for now we're gonna need more of that how much steel do we have on us 82, can upgrade some more blocks. Okay, so the AKs, this shotgun, this AK, this one, where's our pump? Right here. So this one had, yeah, this one had the reduced magazine, so let's modify you. Regardless, it's going to be better with more rounds. Still doing, it's a 17, right? 18, 10, 7. 17, 10, 9. I think I would rather go with the more ammo. The one extra point damage is not going to make all that much difference. So let's complete that and repair you. And then this guy's got magazine size 32, 58 damage. And then let's modify you. 60 damage, 28 clip. I think I would rather go with the bigger magazine size and the extra couple points damage. So let's modify you. Now, we need... Hmm, I wonder if we should make another drum mag. Probably. Let's make another drum magazine. 
Um, steel polymers, oil, and mechanical parts. Steel polymers, oil, and mechanical parts. That's three minutes, so we should have that before Horde Night. So you guys can go back in there. I'm going to need electrical parts tonight for repairs. Uh, so these two guys can go away for now. Bring the shotgun down. Uh, the AK down. We needed this plus the drum mag, right? Right. So modify you. Put you in. Drum mag will go in. And we're going to use... I think we're going to use AP ammo on that. Taking all those. Taking all that. Uh, worst case scenario, we come back if we need to. Let's repair this. We come back and grab more ammo if we need it. So we're going to have one, two, three of those as pipe bombs. Bring these down. Actually, let's just go with two pipe bombs. Got lots, so we should be fine. Okay, I got my concrete, I got my steel. We don't need the lock picks. We don't need you. I don't need you. And your ammo. I don't need you. Um, probably not, well, I don't know. Hang on to the frames. Okay, now SMG ammo. Let's grab. So we'll have two stacks of SMG ammo just in case we need it. It's just a, if they're if they get crazy, we need to thin them out real fast. We can use that rather than the AK. Uh, the AK is only going to be used for demos or really heavy, like heavily armored zombies. All right, let's get make sure we got our first aid on us. So we're going to need. Let's just go ahead and eat one of these now. And then we're going to eat, we'll take the blueberry pie with us as food. Uh, take three of these. Then, um, what else do we need here? Okay, first aid stuff is over here. Uh, I'll take a vitamin just in case. Actually, let's drop these guys in here before I forget. Um, okay. That. All right, we got these in case we need them. I'm going to leave it at four first aid kits. I'm going to take two of these just in case. Splints just in case. Um, not going to need... I don't think we'll need Adam Junkies tonight. I want to save that for the final two hordes. With 32 and 64 zombies. I know we're definitely going to need them on the 64 zombie horde. But I don't think we'll need it tonight. Well, maybe, maybe not. Let's take an eye candy. We'll put that upstairs. Am I missing anything else? Not worried about infection. We can get rid of it relatively easily. Um, yeah, I think we're good. Let's grab... Actually, let's grab the rest. Let's grab a bunch of these in case we need to use them. And then... I feel like I'm missing something. What am I missing? I got a few repair kits. Let's just grab a few more. I, I don't think I'll need them, but... Uh, we got that. Oh yeah, I needed to get my new looting goggles. And we'll put them in over here. That's Rockbusters? Okay, I'll take that out of there. Put you two guys in there for tonight. That way we can drop all this stuff in there and then go loot. Uh, what else? Anything? I don't think we'll use all these shotgun rounds, but you never know. Better safe than sorry. And I think that's it. Let's bring these down here just in case. Don't think we'll get set on fire, but you never know. And I think we're ready to go. I think we are ready to go. Oh yeah, all we need is our drum mag. And then we can modify you. Put you in there. Hey, oh. Right, I gotta select my rounds. So we got 62 rounds in that, 62 rounds in this, and... 12 rounds in this, I believe. Yep, perfect. 
Yeah, having those extra two shots, I think, outweighs the extra one or two points damage that Phil, it might do. Okay, you, you. Gonna keep the iron on me just in case. Let's go with some more steel. Steel. 146. Let's go upgrade a few blocks down here. Not a lot, just a couple. So that's steel. That's steel. That still isn't dried. God damn it. Oh yeah, we were planning on doing these guys. Okay, that's not bad. 26 left for repairs. Let's better grab some more. And do we need anything else? I think we're good. I don't think we have to worry too much about this horde. I mean, other than the 24 zombies, I I'm kind of... I don't know. It's iffy. 16 has been good. But I think it's we're going to be all pipes tonight. I think we're just going to be tossing them and praying. we got to make sure we keep the... Um, Okay, we do have the forge iron house. We gotta make sure we keep the uh, electrical fence posts up and running. Uh, where's the rest of our forge iron? Right there. And then let's grab... I'm gonna take these with me. I don't think we'll need them, but on an emergency situation, we can throw them up. Where's the wire tool? We can throw them up, rewire stuff if we have to. Like if they break, let's say they break through the walls tonight, which I don't think they will, but let's say they break through and I gotta retreat to that doorway. Then I can throw up a wire before we go there. Or once we get there, I can throw up the wire too. That's going to help us out a bit. Let's go this. Um, iron. Yeah, I think we're good. Alright, we got less than an hour to Horde Night. Is this fully upgraded? This is, right? And so is this. Yeah, they both are. So, I mean, we could... Um, mechanical parts say hey, let's grab one mechanical part and get that fixed um, I know I let it run but we're okay for gas I think we got a bit in here too right uh, not there it's in here yeah we got lots of gas so we're okay okay so one mechanical part I think is all we'll need can you hear the confidence in my voice yeah right I think we're going to be in a lot of trouble tonight. This base is untested with beyond 16 zombies, so... I have no idea if it's uh, going to withstand them. I did see a damaged block here somewhere. Oh, is that it? Maybe? Yeah, that's all okay now? Okay. That's at full. How are we doing for power? Good stuff. 55 watts, maximum output 150. Okay. I should try and find a way to put another post in here somewhere. Electrical fence post. That way if they do break through, we're already ready to go. Don't necessarily need to do this, but I want to make sure they're updated just in case. Okay, we're good. All right, well, wish me luck. Gonna need it. Make sure we got our XP goggles on. Yep, we're good to go. Oh, I never did dye my boots. Oh, I'll have to go, go do that later. Actually, what time is it? We got time. You can't be fighting these zombies at night with brown boots. Are you kidding me? Uh, you. Where's my, uh... There we go. Fixed. And you can go in there for now. Alright. I feel like I'm missing something. But we'll find out in about one minute. Here they come. Where are they coming from? Behind. What's up, buddy? And you are the first victim for tonight. Wait for the stun, then the then fire. Wait for the stun, then fire.
They're banging on the back. They're banging on the Oh, they should start coming down, though. Yeah, I think they will. Hold that, buddy. Right, here they come. Yep. I think the steel in the front, um, the steel in the front has made it so that they, it's, they think it's easier to get in the back. So I'm definitely going to need to double up the walls. That's going to be a lot of concrete. Come on, focus on what you're doing. Come and get some. Oh. Oh shit. Really? What did that bounce off of? At least they decided to come to this side. Side's quiet. Nice. You gotta focus. We're like an hour and a half into the night. Looking pretty good, I think. Doesn't feel like 24 zombies, though. Maybe it's because we're uh, killing them at a half decent pace that it's... Um, Spreading out their attack, so they're not coming on like on mass. They're trickling in one at a time after I blow heads off. How are we doing? The power, okay. You guys hold on to that. Don't want any interruptions tonight. That could be bad for us if, they, if we get interrupted. So power interruption means that they're all banging on the wall, right? Look good. Come on back here, buddy. Stay in one spot. Sure, 
drops. Nice. Gotta get that out of my way. Yeah, it's intensifying now. You may want to start throwing two of them. Right over there, okay. Off my walls. Okay, you go down. A double shot. That should give us some time to check the uh, power. Okay, looks like we're still good here. What is up with it? Oh man, I don't know. It's just this okay, don't focus on that. Focus on them for crying out loud. He's gonna go to shit real fast if we're not watching what I'm doing here. It's going to be really interesting on Insane. Because we're going to have a lot more hit points than this. That's, okay, it looks like we're done with that wave. I think he... Oh, no, I was going to say, I think he was a straggler, but I don't think he is. I think it's the next wave. Ah, shit. Well... Get it up a little higher. Okay, then I think we go shotguns on this side. Pipe bombs on this side. You can see how I mean though, if this, this base would fall apart if they all came from the same side all the time, or from different sides I mean. Because they constantly came from different sides, we could be in a lot of trouble. That in 14 days, the horde is going to be insane. It'll be almost three times the size of this. I got a feeling we're going to be running the M60 the whole night. We 
We're gonna need a lot of pipe bombs. It's just gonna be us throwing pipe bombs all night, I think. And if it's the last horde, I may want to run with some Molotovs too. Okay, I wonder how the power's doing there. Shit. One set the other one off, that's alright. Let's get these guys rinsed out of here. Hold that, buddy. That guy's trying to run away. We get a breather here in a second. I want to check those uh, posts. Oh, I thought that guy made it in there for a second. That could be bad. One of these spider monkeys makes it inside. Gearing up for another charge. Is that it? That can't be it. Okay, we're all repaired. How are we doing for damage out here? A little bit. That could be it. It doesn't feel like it was enough. Ooh, they did a pretty good job on this, though. They did a pretty good job on that. They still have to break through all of this to get through, though. But even one of these blocks going down means that the spider monkeys might get in. And that could be a problem. I think that's it. I think that might just be it. Gonna wait for a few seconds longer, because, uh... It just doesn't feel right. I, I, I st it still feels like they ha they're not done. Because that's only like hour three. Did we, didn't we go a lot longer last time? Those bags shouldn't despawn. I should be okay. Alright, I just want to double check any of this stuff here. I think we I think we passed game stage um, 150 though. I should have checked my zombie kills. We were at 41 something before. So we're at 47. Those of like 400 or so kills tonight probably. Game stage 145. So we will be 150 before the next horde. I think that's it. I think we're done. I think we are done. So let's go loot this stuff. Yeah, I'm going to have to um, be careful of that. How much did they do in the back here? They almost broke one block. They were trying to come through here again. Ooh, they did a lot. They must have been stacked on one another. So yeah, I think we need to add... The back wall, I think, needs to all be plates. Fix the light. Um, I think we need to do that. I think the back wall needs to all be plates. And when we run the horde, this has to be closed. Okay. I'm shocked that we did so well on that. Alright, let's just drop... 
you. Let's go out with the SMG. It's probably safer if we do it that way. Med kits, we don't need that. Just keep one stack of ammo on us. Oh, yeah, we want to wear these guys, though. And use this. Let's hope we don't get killed out here. Didn't turn the power off again, so I gotta be careful. Okay, more looting goggles. Ammo, ammo, food. Crap. Water. A little bit of steel. Oh, another treasure map. Maybe we hit that up tomorrow. Today's what, 57? Uh, it's, it's tomorrow's a trader restock day, so... Doesn't seem like a lot of bags. Level 5 military gloves, so we can use those. Yeah, so I mean... Level 6, well, 5 compo. These guys. Some stuff to sell here. Level 5 leggings, that's good. But I mean, other than that, not a lot. We got another treasure map we can go check out. Finally getting our driveway underway here. If it wasn't for the Hornet, I wouldn't have done that. But we're gonna, I'm gonna turn the rest of this out here, I think. Well, maybe we'll go one more concrete. The rest will be grass. We'll redo the fence. One more concrete, the rest will be grass. Redo the fence. We'll add some nice trees around here. We'll make sure this base looks really, really nice before day, day uh, 70. And then uh, when the day, day 70 horde comes, maybe it'll completely obliterate it. I don't know. We'll just have to see how it goes. All right, guys, I'm going to get this stuff put away. Might as well read this. I'll get this stuff put away, and then um, we'll figure out uh, what we're going to do tomorrow. I'll probably do that treasure map, and I don't know what else. All right. All right, so I end the episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. Please drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.